Color Genesis, you are live, brother. Right. Talk to us, talk right. to us. All right, Robert, I'll see you later. I gotta go on live. And the family, we just finished enjoying this incredible energy yeah. at Nana Lodge. And Kyle Jameson, thank you for bringing us over here to Nana Lodge. Thank you, thank you. And Nana Lodge, Brother Musa, really appreciate the energy. Yeah. Now, he was with yeah. us the whole time from yesterday to today. Uh -huh. yeah. And we're jamming. So I know it's a little ways out, but uh, ultimately we support it. An incredible uh, brother that's trying to do wonderful uh, things in this country. Heavy. Okay. So Robert's what? Point, this city was built uh, uh, by the U.S. Uh, government during World War II. You know, as a uh, staging ground for the. Uh, the Allied troops moving goods across the uh, uh, across the short right across the Atlantic, right? To Robertsport, right? And then to the North African the uh, war theater, okay? Because German U-boats had cut off the Atlantic altogether, so they had to leapfrog around the Caribbean, right? As well, and then leapfrog across the Atlantic, right? Yeah, to Robertsport, okay? Yeah, everybody listen. Yeah. You know? So they built this city. Built the city. And then after this, after the war, they turned it over to the Liberian government. Okay, uh, this like this city right here uh, symbolizes like uh, the birth of modern Africa, Robertsport, you know, and the free port of Monrovia, which we're gonna see later on today. It uh, symbolizes the port of Monrovia. The free port of Monrovia was built by uh, the United States government, right, under the Lend Lease Act. The Lend Lease Act was the United States and the Congress set, a, set aside funds for any country that would help in the war effort against uh, the Axis powers. Liberia joined the Axis powers and, they, and, they, and uh, with black diplomats from America, they was able to tap into the lend lease pro funds and they had the free port of Monrovia built, right? Uh, the fire soul was supposed to build it and they never did. So the free port of Monrovia was built on uh, the lend lease act, the Roberts port was built on the lend lease act, and several major roads and highways to the interior were built with Lend Lease Act money. Okay, so you look what it is this right here. In the 60s, this used to be a, a Pan-African cultural center. Okay, uh, we're not gonna take that route to see just some of the buildings which is gonna be reserved and everything like that. Like this church up there on that hill, remarkable architecture. Uh, uh, these buildings were built back in the uh, 1940s. And this town was a lively town in the 1940s. Uh, I mean, really, a really uh, jumping town, real prosperous town for people to come out here on vacation and boating and uh, yachts and some everything on uh, Lake Pizzo. So it's like I said, it's a beautiful town. It looks like it's been abandoned, but uh, we went out there, got some of the energy of the people last night. They're real friendly to us at the bar. You know, they're real friendly, real nice people out here and everything. So uh, uh, this is our, our Robert's Port. Robert's Port. Liberia, and I witnessed some surfing this morning, you know? You know, I witnessed surfing, this guy was good. I paid him $10, you know, he was good, he was that good. Hopefully you recorded the video. I did, I recorded it, I recorded it. Yeah, of course I got it. I got it, awesome. you know what I'm saying? Got it, man, this guy was, yo, he was, that boy was hugging the waves, Liberian boy, he was hugging the waves, boy. He was doing that thing. But this is a now become a popular surfing destination for people from around the world. Um, the Hotel Buchanan that we stayed in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, that we uh, had dinner in, in, in Grand Bassa. They're building a resort here, here. And same thing with the Bassa's building a resort here. And so, like he said, uh, Moose said, the good, the good side of that side, favorite word is, more hotels and vessels will come in and compete with them, you know? You know, but it's a good thing for the country, I guess, but, you know, it's, you know, this is like uh, Nana Lodge, you know, definitely needs our support, Absolutely. extra Absolutely. support. That's definitely. why I said we have to do this, you know? You know, so, you know, so, because uh, there's gonna be a lot of few people, it's gonna be like the Gambia. It's gonna be like again, all foreign old entities bringing old people in, like that, and the locals and the black people are not that, you know? Good point. That's what's happening, you know? So we wanna support brother people like Brother Musa, you know? In, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in his effort because another five to ten, five years goes by like that, you're gonna see this place change. You know, people say, what happened? We got gentrified. So gentrification yeah. don't happen overnight. You know, it creeps up on you. You know, it's like a disease. It creeps up on you, you know? You gotta get it while it's early. You gotta get it, and get it while it's early. Cancer. So. 
And this architecture of this place, are you? So what's okay. going on here? I heard that there was a storm that knocked down some of these buildings. Well, I didn't hear about that, you know? We're on a, 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 a Lake Pisa right now. Yeah, that looks just so beautiful right there. Wish, yeah. wish, we, wish we could just sail away. Yeah, this boat that, that, that you rent. Like a sail in the boat, you know? Sail away together, family. We'll bring life jackets. Real life jackets. What do you mean by real life jacket? Not that uh, it, it's, we it's, think we have. Isn't that life jacket, life jacket? It does the thing that just makes you float? Yeah, yeah that, was, no, that was prolonged, man. This thing will suck. Balloon real. Hey, yo, like yo. Like a sausage? Yeah, yo, they're prolonged. You're, 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 a real life jacket when we had when we were on a boat ride to the uh, couple of Those are life jackets. Yeah, this is just yeah those were life vests. They life were vests. That's what you need to place like something like this. Okay, here's what you got. Oh, nice vests. So the remnants of what we're looking at is uh based on is it um this de deterioration or uncivil war or is it based on this war. lack of uh investment the, the and update? The war really destroyed this town. This was a head this 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 part. It's heavy hit. It don't seem like it was so isolated, but a lot of people, from rebels from Sierra Leone were here, Nigeria were here. You know, everybody was taken in a plunge of Liberia, you know, was here in Providence Port. You know, Louis being intelligent. It was a free for all. You know, that's what happens when you decide to break down. You said that's when society um, does what? Uh, when, when society breaks down in anarchy and chaos. You know, there's no order. So the other thing that uh, I guess we were wondering, during the time of when the UN was here, uh, what was the focus on rebuilding of Liberia and... Well, it was, the UN was complicated because there was a power struggle between all these people who opened up nature food Liberia. You know, Liberia is the only country that's never been occupied, colonized, or mandated by another foreign power, you know? In Africa, absolutely. You know? And so they wouldn't, they, they, it's just beneath them to let the UN take over, like they did in, uh, uh, in other countries, like maybe like Japan, or the Allied Forces governed Japan, and stuff like that, you know? Uh, but the UN is supposed to help you restore your country uh, and rebuild, right? Yeah, but the UN had to take orders from them. You know, it wasn't like, you know, the, uh, uh, Allied occupied Germany, where, where the Germans and Japan had no say in the aim, right? You know, that never happened in Liberia. And so Liberia does have that to its credit. It never was occupied, no one's ever was on the soil, no one's ever colonized it. But the downside that is a lot of the stuff they couldn't get done because Liberia had Liberian pride, you know? We never been occupied, we never been colonized. So we don't care if we die, we would we'll rather be like this, you know? That's, that's, that's the downside to Liberia. You know, I, sometimes I think maybe the UN should have uh, put it in a trusteeship for like 10 years. You know, and got it together and, 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 and let, let Liberia work its way out of its, its debt and hand, eventually hand over a real civilian, uh, uh, democratically elected government, you know, but that never happened. You know, there's a bunch of warlords and everything took power, seemed to survive with power. But the good thing was when George Weah handed over power to Wilcott, uh, and I was told that uh, it wasn't so much that George Weah, it was his wife. I told him, you better, you look, you better hand power over him and give it up. He wasn't going to give it up. He wasn't? No. Wow, how did yeah. you know that? He was, no, he was just going to be, I, I didn't really win. You know, he was like, his wife told him, no, you lost, it's time to move on. She knows, he failed, you know. George, George Weir's wife is what made him. That woman made him. That woman's a strong woman, a Jamaican woman. She made that man. So, she said, it's time for you to go. So what about the, what about the, uh, their thoughts of uh, the whole saying that if uh, he'd have married a cruel woman like her, he'd have gotten re-elected. How, how does that make sense? That right there, right there, that, that sh she should have been, I ain't gonna go there. Bottom line is this, right? We don't do tribalism on this tour. We don't promote politics. Exactly. We don't promote tribalism. and culture. Black we don't unity. Like that. We don't, and also, when you introduce to your country to the world, you speak about the good points. You don't sit there and uh, put down your country and then take us on the road 
just to show you how bad the country is, you know? You know, it's stuff like that. So it's a negative energy all, 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 all day. The prison over there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, you won't see many prisoners in there because uh, the way they see it is prisoners get free meals and everything. So, uh, <laughs> People want to go to prison, you know? <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, That's funny. You, know, you don't meal, see bro. prisons in Liberia, you know? You don't. So you want to you go to prison so you get a free meal? Yeah, yeah. people are like, you want to go to prison so you get a free meal, you know? Yeah, you don't free prison, no, you're in prison, you know, get out there and fish, you know? That's funny, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's a fishing village, you know? Yeah. Fishing. I mean, they got water everywhere. What I would love to see is them building, make that transition to really modern marinas. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful out here. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's paradise. You know, look at the mountains and everything. I mean, this would know? be a beautiful place to have a nice, uh, small airport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these possibilities. Airport for the and, all, and, and, you know, and ships and everything. That's a nice little yeah. uh, uh, dock right there. Yeah. All this they have plans to build all kinds of sites. And I see, I noticed that there's a few little small islands also. Yeah, they want to plan to develop those islands as places to relax and all this stuff. Is is coming out of I mean, the possibilities are endless here, family. That's why we're that's why we having a business investment conference, and we're looking to get. I mean, even there's another small island. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 this beauty right here reminds me somewhat of, uh, of uh, uh, Tanzania, where they have all of these islands, and you just got a ferry boat going to them. Like all of this, like everything right here is be like um, resorts on the lake. Yep. Hopefully, uh, this tour will encourage other people to uh, come and invest. That's, that's invest. our only goal is always to come, come and invest and be a part of the future. Be part of it, you, know? you know, we have to start somewhere and here's a good starting point. You can't complain about the Lebanese and Europeans and everything. If we don't participate and compete. Like, like, like today, I, uh, the guy with the surfing guy gave me a surfing show. I took him to know. I'm showing him that people that look like him could do the same thing the Europeans do. Absolutely. You know, that's important. You know, and I hugged them, I thanked them. You know, I said, you guys are good. I remember I remember these kids when they were first starting surfing, you know? They were like little boys, they were first started surfing, now they were grown up, you know? I used to watch them on YouTube. You know, so uh, I was like, uh, it really encouraged. I said, man, these guys got good. These guys, the way that guy surfed today, that's like some of the best surfing I've ever seen in my life. And, and the only place I've ever seen real surfing and I live in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I've never seen surfing there, you know? Yeah, I've never seen it either one there. All they do is get on a paddleboard, fall in the water, you know? Hell, surf. This guy was riding the wave. Boom, 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 boom. You know? So they're gonna have the African surf competition in the bay. Wow, awesome. You know? Awesome. <laughs> and this is, this is like the roads are being reconstructed. Yeah. Yeah, it's all been other construction, you know? Perfect family. Uh, appreciate the color genesis. Uh, so family, the journey continues, and uh, when we get to the Freeport of Monrovia, we definitely want to get some uh, information on it because uh, it's a lot of good connections with our Freeport. And uh, what's going on up here? Okay, that's one of the uh, gold mines. You know, uh, gold mines. Yeah, yeah, by a Turkish company. That's one of them, that's probably back into the gold mine, which is on the other side. Yeah. So that's how it looks, family. I've never even seen a gold mine. Yes, brother. So we're gonna get the flow on, family. And so we're looking at about what, three hours back to Monrovia. We can help the turn from here. Absolutely. Come to the turn from. So then we go to Freeport.